Men have read it, what's the most romantic thing a woman in your life has ever done? I've always had a passion for astronomy and it had been a childhood dream of mine to see the CERN superglider in Switzerland. My GF not being much scientific herself didn't understand the beauty of such technology, she's an English teacher. Started to cut back on expenditure on things she liked for a couple of months. I occasionally offered some financial support but she always kissed me saying there's nothing to worry about and so like any partner I worried my off. Some months passed it was nearing my birthday. I hadn't seen my GF all day as she went to work yet she arrived late. She came up to me with an envelope and simply sat besides me anticipating my reaction. I slipped out two tickets to my childhood dream into my hands as well as cried like a child in her warm embrace. I'm smiling so much typing this. But she, without even leaving any hints, sacrificed so many months of comfort just to fulfill a dream of mine. She, now my wife currently live in Switzerland and live a couple hours drive away from the facility. I'm currently trying to assemble an elegant trip abroad just for her to the Maldives after this whole lockdown eases. I've never loved someone so much. My birthday was the 9th and since we can't go out she made me my own escape room in our house. It made me feel so loved I almost cried. I lucked out with the greatest girl in the world. I didn't have a mattress throughout high school. And my then girlfriend came over for the first time and she looked very disgruntled. So she talked to her parents and arranged a surprise visit for me to go to Ikea and get a bed and a desk. While I was working the whole day and eating like junk food. She cooked and placed it in front of my door while I was at work, she lived one hour away from me. So she just drove for that. Coming home, seeing all that delicious food in front of my door was heartwarming. I'm hopefully marrying her this year's smiley face. After a particularly bad day. Laid my head on her chest. Pet me and told me everything would be okay. I dated a girl who decorated a matchbox with the message, we're a great match. And filled it with edible matches. Little pretzel sticks dipped in colored chocolate at the end to look like a match. She clearly put a lot of thought and effort into it. Which was really what meant the most to me. Unfortunately. No, we're not together anymore. Edit. We broke up for a few reasons. We were in an LDR several hours apart. Some long-term compatibility issues, etc. It kinda messed me up for a while. Because she was a really, really sweet girl and I liked her, dot but, ya know, life goes on and so must we. We still chat every now and again. We're on good terms. Pulled me to a dance floor dragging a chair behind her. Standing up on the chair and we danced. I am quite tall. My wife did a few things for me that I definitely consider romantic. There was a time I was really hungover so she being a paramedic. Started an IV on me and put two bags of fluids on me. Made me feel a lot better. She would also make me breakfast and bring it to me just as I was getting up for work in the afternoon, I work nights. She would also shave my neck when I couldn't get to the barber. I never asked her to. She always offered. Comma. I miss her. I broke my leg three months into a relationship unrelated to the relationship. My family had just left town that day. I had emergency surgery. She drove me to the surgery. Picked up my meds during the surgery. Picked me up when I woke up. Drove me back to her place and took care of me for a month there. This included sponge baths. Waking up to give me painkillers in the middle of the night so I wouldn't wake up in agony. Having food for me during the day when she went to work. And making sure I was happy overall. Four years later and we are still together. If all that ain't romantic. I don't know what is. Edit. We've been looking at engagement rings for the past few months. Timeline is to elope next summer. Also. I've never had this many upvotes on a comment before and never received an award, awards before. I don't know the etiquette but thanks everyone. My wife cut my hair tonight cause I can't go to the barber and she knew it was bugging me. My last girlfriend arranged a surprise birthday party for me at a trampoline park. I was turning 30. My long distance GF flew 6000 kilometers to spend her two weeks winter vacation with me. 
threw me an unbelievable surprise 50th birthday party that had 75 attendees including friends from out of state and kept it a complete surprise from me. Absolutely blew me away the amount of work, months of coordination, and care that she put into it. One of the best nights of my life. This was just this past January. I got her a calendar with pictures of dogs pooping on it. Pretty sure we're even. It won't seem like much but it was a big deal to me at the time and kind of still us. We had only just been dating a few months. Only a few dates under our belt due to both of our busy schedules. And I don't know why but I couldn't shake this feeling that she just wasn't into us. That she was just playing along for some other ends meet that I wasn't aware of. But near the end of one of these dates we were on her couch just chatting with my arm around her like I usually do. And then she got up to roll herself a cigarette as she was still in the middle of quitting at the time but still smoked when stressed. And as she got up off the couch, she leaned back down to me to give me a kiss. This was our first kiss that didn't feel like a mandatory goodbye kiss. As that was the only kind of kissing we had done before this. And for some reason it kind of just melted away those doubts I had. A little while later I asked her about it and she told me I know you're disgusted by my smoking. So I wanted to kiss you before I smoked. The fact that this felt like our first genuine kiss together and that she thought of me and my feelings in that way just kind of reassured me of the relationship. And we're still together today a year later. The lady next to my house said that my hair looked nice. A girl in high school baked me sugar cookies spelling out a message. Asking me to prom. I immediately said yes. A couple of years later she came out as a lesbian. It's okay though. I came out as gay shortly after too. My wife paid off all my debt and student loans with a smile and hugged me after she did. She didn't have an inch of sadness parting with all that money. I have autism and she continues to support me and all my strangeness. I'm extremely fortunate to have her. My wife and I were having Thanksgiving with my grandparents and extended family. Most of who she had not met. We had just moved 2,000 miles for a job and happened to be about three hours from my grandparents. Something to know about my family is we are ruthless and are overly generous with sarcasm and insults. Almost 20 of my family members were just unleashing this superpower on me. Mostly things along the line of my wife was way out if my league and too beautiful for me. My wife had been quiet this whole time. Finally one of my uncles asked here why someone so beautiful would settle for someone like his nephew. This was at the table with my grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins, very formal in the near south. She looks him dead in the eye and says loud enough for even my most deaf relative to hear. I married him for his. She then went back to her dinner and they chose a different victim. TL drive most romantic thing my wife ever did for me was tell my family at Thanksgiving dinner she was with me due to my dong. I once had a girlfriend who on my birthday gave me a pack of dollar store toys that were a collection of crustaceans. She smiled and told me that now I can tell everyone that she gave me crabs on my birthday. I miss her. Every day. My wife helps me get up and dressed. I've been in a chair since May. I was running a fever and slept on the couch outside. Throughout the night I would wake up to see my girlfriend kneeling on the floor. Using a wet handkerchief to sponge me down. I love her so much. Okay I gotta tell you what romantic thing really did it for me. She listened to me. She listened. Not judging. Not even silently judging. Not even a little impatient. Slow honest listening. I could marry her for that. Helped me move. I never felt more loved than when I was flipping the hell out trying to get packed and figure out how I was going to get everything to me apartment and my very organized girlfriend drove out from an hour away several nights in one week to help me make it happen. TBH the most romantic thing I have had was a girl I met while working at a camp who I was able to open up to and who liked me for who I was. The good and the bad. She was an international staffer and went back to her home country. Oh. I have one for this. Story time. My 22nd birthday celebration with my fiancé. And the day I knew I'd marry her. My fiancé and I had been dating for around a year at Thar Point. I worked at a slaughterhouse a while back. And my depression was acting up something fierce. Suicidal thoughts and the desire to run away was really strong. 
The work environment was incredibly toxic. And while I made good money, it was the middle of winter. And it was cold inside and out. The day started by waking up at 3 a.m. and running outside to catch my ride. I get to work. And I forgot to charge my phone battery. Thing number one. Thing number two. People had just quit. So we were understaffed. Meaning I had two separate carving stations I had to work at for a total of 10 to 12 hora straight time of year where we had to work two whole work weeks for 10 to 12 hours each day. Thing number three. My knives were almost spent. And I couldn't get new ones. So I was incapable of keeping up with the line. Thing hash. Four. My roommate who also worked there decided that that day was the day that he was going to bail on the rent bill and dump the whole thing and all utilities on me with a week until rent was due. Thing number 5. I lost my newest knife when it slipped from my hand when I threw the fat onto the conveyor belt. Meaning it got grinded and I lost 35 bucks. Thing number 6. On my way to try and save the knife. My meat hook got knocked and fell onto another belt. Meaning it got dragged all the way across the room. I failed to save the knife. I come back to my stations to find my meat hook gone. No one in my area speaks English. So I can't ask for help with my. Thing number 7. Knife gone. Have to walk all the way across the massive room to the fat belt to get my hook. Get back and see a mountain of uncut meat. And my only possible helper had gone on a smoke break. Thing number 8. I get most of the cuts done. Only to have my supervisor say I can't take my break I'd been working since 5 am at this point. It being around 10 at the time. I'm behind. No big deal. But it still drove it home that the world's a cruel mistress. Thing number 9. It's a pizza day. But by the time I can get there for lunch break. People have taken entire pizzas with the intention of bringing them home. So no pizza for me. I didn't bring a lunch because it was a pizza day. Thing number 10. My roommate tries to cheer me up by bringing me to a restaurant for my birthday after the day ends but fails to mention that I'd be paying. I ordered a burger and a chocolate shake. They bring me the wrong burger and a strawberry shake. Here's where things got better. My fiance, then GF, calls me over after I got home, she lived across the street, and told me to come over. She had a surprise for me. I show up, and she lets me into the building, takes my hand, and pulls me upstairs. She's not talking or sore energetic. She knows I'm hungry and burn out. She opens the door to her apartment. And there's a fort made of blankets and pillows on the floor. A few Christmas lights hanging from the ceiling. A double fudge cake on the makeshift table. A couple cooked frozen pizzas already cut. And Bob's burgers playing on her laptop. She didn't ask me to talk. She didn't expect anything from me. She just wanted me to be comfortable. I fell asleep there and she let me sleep. She woke me up the next day with hash browns and pancakes and told me she loved me. It was the simplest gift ever. But it made the entire nightmarish day feel like a bad dream. It was the most romantic thing to me. And it was that day I knew I would propose to her. A woman I was dating worked late on my birthday one year and called to chat on her drive home. She apologized for missing my birthday and promised to make it up the next night. We talked for way longer than her typical drive. But I thought maybe she had gotten home and simply hadn't told me. Instead, she drove across town and was circling my neighborhood, gotta love suburbs where everything looks the same. Searching for my house, she eventually found it and surprised me with a pint of ice cream and a balloon. We got married two years ago. Edit. As one of you pointed out. I didn't say we are happily married. We are very happy. Working on taking the next step aka kiddos. She gave me those cards that said. Open when you feel sad. Open when you feel happy. Open when you want to know how much I care about you. After we broke up. I found out that in one letter it said that she loved me. And it broke my heart found out about this after the breakup. My girlfriend, now wife. Spent 7 hours using public transportation to surprise me at home. Imagine this coming home from a full 8 hour shift starting at 6 am. Lifting heavy displays, TVs. I come home. My bedroom door is locked. I dead think it's my younger brother pulling a prank on me. I knock just wanting to go sit on my computer and watch some videos or play some games. When the door opens to my surprise there is the love of my life standing there telling me to be patient. My eyes tear up from a combination of feelings mostly joy. 
we hadn't seen each other physically in over a month just Skype. It totally made my day and weekend. Happily married 5 years. Edit 1. Clarified bedroom door. In the movie, Die Hard, a girl runs and throws herself into the arms of a guy she is meeting. Who is getting off of a plane? She jumps up and into his arms. Ever since I saw that. Oh so many years ago. I've wanted someone to be so thrilled to greet me that they threw themselves into my arms like that. It took me 40 plus. Years. But it did eventually happen. And the girl had no idea it was something I'd always fantasized about. It became a thing for us. When we hadn't seen each other in a while. She'd run and just jump into my arms. Today I realized that all my exes weren't very romantic and never really gave me the love and affection I gave them. A real wake-up call if you ask me. I can only hope to find someone as nice as some of your spouses. Cherish it. I was at a picnic with her large family. And already being a socially anxious person. Was absolutely wearing the mask. Full cascades of sound pouring over me. Difficulty hearing people talk. Couldn't make eye contact. This was super early in our relationship. She glanced at me to check in. Saw the mask. And under the table. Gently took my hand in her lap and began tracing the back of it with her fingernails. It was the most loving form of grounding I've ever experienced. And I hope wherever she is she knows how much that meant to me. After having a schizophrenic episode in my sleep. I jumped out of the bed. Bawling sweat and tears and silently screaming. She woke up. Hugged me. Gave me lots of kisses and put my head against her chest. Where I could calmly hear her heart beating and where I ended up falling asleep again. I woke up the next morning. The first thing I saw was her cute in love look accompanied by her adorable smile and the feeling of her hands caressing my head and face. I had never felt so loved. Taken cared for and appreciated. On our first anniversary. After class. She prepared a walk around our college campus we met there with some papers with vivid descriptions directing us to specific places where some of our fondest moments happened in the time it took us to know and fall in love with each other. Like treasure hunting but she had the papers with her at all times and would only give the next one to me when I reached the designated spot. After seven heartwarming notes about us and our story, we ended up in a natural park besides campus. Where, in the beginning, I asked her about making it official and declared myself to her, it was obvious from the start tbh. We had already kissed and such. If I wasn't shocked by the sentiment she proved to feel towards yours truly by making something so special to me. I would have 100%. Cried tears of happiness for the first time in my life. Edit. Spelling. Thank you for correcting me. Kind comments people. When me and my fiancé were dating. I always joked about visiting a place called Hillbilly Hot Dogs after seeing a post about it online. Well a year or so after I first started talking about it. My boss calls me and tells me to head home early, this was about a week after my birthday. I ask him what's up and he just said the other guys will finish the day out. I get home and my GF told me to pack 3-4 to four days of clothes but she wouldn't tell me where we were going. We hopped in the car and sure enough a few hours later we were in front of Hillbilly Hot Dogs. I couldn't believe it. We just had the best time eating there in the section that's an old converted school bus. After that, we ended up driving down to NC to stay at her cousin's near the beach for a few days and just enjoy each other's company. On the way back she said we would stop at any stupid roadside attraction I wanted to since she knew I loved them. Honestly it was the most wonderful gift I've ever received. I was having a rough day and she simply put my head on her lap and petted my head and gently scratched me until I fell asleep. I had watched an animated Disney music video and really enjoyed the song. Sounds similar to Over the Rainbow. Weeks later, the girl I was dating surprised me by playing the song and singing it for me. She had been practicing to surprise me. She bought us tickets to Cedar Point even though she was afraid of roller coasters. I loved pirates and it was my birthday. I'm a cook and I love food and all things related. While I was at work my girlfriend at the time made a pirate scavenger hunt with a piece of paper she burned and made look like a map. I was turning 23 and that was the best thing ever. Edit. Jesus this blew up lol. I forgot to add that the gifts were a charcoal grill and other cooking related items. Haha. Ha. Thanks y'all.
She made me a scrapbook of our entire relationship and saved everything from all our previous dates in order to put it into the book. She also got me a custom guitar pick with our anniversary. Man I love that woman. A girl I knew. Knew I had a thing for her so she pretended she couldn't find her phone. Then asked if someone could call it. I said sure what's your number? We got married a year later for 15 years. I lost my favorite pair of sunglasses at a building on campus. By the time I realized I was in my dorm and was swamped with a paper. I was upset and expressed this to her. She left and came back soaking wet. She went back to campus and walked along every path I had taken and checked the building for me to try and find them as a pick-me-up. Unfortunately she couldn't find them but it was so sweet. 